So one of the things that I want people to understand when dealing with NFTs is that NFTs are not assets. An NFT is not an actual asset. It just registers digital assets. So when someone says that NFT sold for X amount, they're referring to the NFT, but also they're referring to the digital assets. So how much did this digital asset sell for? A lot of things that people don't understand in NFTs and a lot of misconceptions come from the fact that people aren't aware about what the NFT actually is. So in layman's terms, simple terms, an NFT is nothing but a certificate of ownership, a certificate of authentication. Now let's get into details about NFGs, a non-fungible good, because a non-fungible token is the digital version of a non-fungible good. And there are ways that these goods are sold, there are ways that they're handled, and we gotta literally apply those same concepts to an NFT. So let's look at an NFG that people are familiar with, like a Rolex watch. If I bought a Rolex watch from Rolex and I wanted to go resell it, I would need the certificate of authentication or I would need to go pay an authenticator to authenticate it for me. This is because the Rolex's value is determined based off whether it's real or not. So there are a lot of people that will try to knock off the Rolex to resell it, etc. But you will find that it's not as easy to sell, especially to an authorized dealer, if it's not authenticated, if they don't know it's real. So if I had a Rolex and I didn't have the certificate of authentication, what would I do? I would go pay an authenticator some money so that they can authenticate it, give me a certificate, and then I can take that certificate to someone, an authorized dealer, and then they would purchase that from me because they know it's real. So the same goes with NFTs. If I had a regular digital asset,